now we're going to be start working on the product page that how the product page could be manipulated and how different sections could be created first of all let me tell you that what the product page is for well the product page is for showing the individual product different description its personal individual description as well as the price and as well as add to cart option and if you click on the product it will get maximized individually and the product that liquid is for each individual product not for all the products so first of all what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna actually click on the products option in here as you can see that it will begin to load and then I'm gonna click on awesome sneakers product as I have loaded all of these products uh, with the CSV file and these are some dummy contents added to the product as you can see that now first of all what we really need to do is we are gonna have to actually create a skeleton for our further processing so I'm gonna get back to my product that liquid file in out there back in here and here I'm just gonna create a skeleton so for that and we are gonna begin work on that skeleton I'm gonna use div class in here and I'm gonna close this div section and then I'm gonna provide product page this will be actually the class name and clear fix I'm gonna use another class that will be product images left and this will be actually the class name we're gonna be adding the CSS later on and div class product details left so now I have provided the skeleton for my products so the product image would be on left side and as well as the product details would be on the left side horizontally so in this case we could actually de differentiate between it now inside product images left I'm gonna create another div section that will be referring to the product featured image in here and as you can see that the editor is itself indenting everything on the way now I'm gonna add some code in here and we'll discuss it later on as you can see that I have added an anchor tag and then I have closed this anchor tag in here and in between this anchor tag I have added an image with its link and title now what did this H reference do is it is actually providing a link that where the image will be and it will actually go to the product image source where the link would be available that is actually referring to the product URL and the original so which means that if you just get back in here and get into the product section in here so whatever the awesome sneakers link and URL would be it will be placed out as you can see that we have this awesome sneakers title and in here we have different sections for it like this is the URL and handle so what this code will do is actually this code will pick up that image source that is actually the product image URL just like that and it will this image is linking to that and after that we are providing actually the image source too the reason we are actually giving this also in the anchor tag and as well as the image tag because when a person clicks on that image it will get larger and will go to the original area and the grain size means that it is in the med medium size not the big size because Shopify generates many different sizes of an image when you upload it to the products so the grain size refers to the medium size and original size refers to the full big size so when a person clicks on that image it uh, the anchor tag will actually get him to the original big image and uh, the rest of is actually the alt option this is for when a person hovers a mouse over the image he will see that what is the description of that image in the area